Um, so on this first episode, we're going to look at Guinness. <laughs> I mean, we're going to look at... Ah! Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to Crafty Loz's show. This is my first episode, so hopefully it's going to go well. Please write and tell me uh, if it's any good. But uh, yeah, finally, some cash is behind the camera. So uh, on this episode, we're going to look at St Paddy's Day. Big day for the Irish and a big day for Guinness. Guinness is huge. They're, they're gonna, they have beers everywhere around the world, and on St Paddy's Day, it's just going to be drunk everywhere. So yes, yeah, it's going to be huge. I, I personally love Guinness. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely drink. Uh, so. Yeah, so we're going to look at alternatives to Guinness. So um, we have two um, craft, crafty beers. Uh, one of them is a porter and the other one is a stout. So uh, yeah, let's bring it on. Right, bartender, first beer. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, here we have Q uh, Brewery. Uh, this is based near Richmond. Um, it's called the Midnight Q. It's a celebration stout and it's 7.5%. So it's quite lethal. It's not like a 4.1% Guinness. Uh, so be careful with this. Um, so this is made with uh, malted oats, roasted barley, chocolate malt, Q honey and treacle. So yeah, very interesting. Um, I like the idea, Q honey, because uh, local businesses, um, I highly recommend that. I think that's... Uh, it's a really good thing to do. Bring on more companies together and yeah, producing interesting beers. So, bartender, let's try it. There you go, sir. Enjoy Thank this you one. very much. As you can see, it's quite dark. Mm. It's quite, it's got a bit of bitterness, also a bit sweet. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit like a espresso first thing in the morning. Yeah, and uh, I'd probably kind of have something like a fruit cake with this. Uh, it's just going to remind me of like the nuts and raisins and dried fruits. Um, I just think the combination between the two. I mean, it also being like an espresso is something like you have that in the morning. We go to work, but obviously it's a bit. I don't condone that. <laughs> yeah, really nice. I quite like that one. Okay, um, bartender, bring on the, the second beer. Here you go. Thank you, mate. Right here you go. This is the Northern Star. Uh, this one here is from Leeds. Uh, this is five point nine percent. So a little bit weaker than the, the um, Celebration uh, Midnight Q Celebration Stout. Um, so, let's try it. There you go. Thank you, bartender. You're a bit quick. Um, uh, I'm Didn't on even the job. ask for it. I'm on the job. <laughs> As you can see also, they're probably roughly the same colour. Um, both got creaminess on the top, which is quite nice. Pleasing to the eye. So. So this one here, they've put lots of like um, coffee and chocolate in, in the mix, and you can really taste it. And also, this kind of reminds me of like a, a latte. So we've got an espresso and a latte in two drinks. So if you like the coffees, then you should definitely go for these. Um, yeah. So yeah, I can the hazelnut flavors I can get from this. I can get lots of chocolate. So like Nesquik <laughs> um, and Nutella. Um, yeah. Again, if you want this first thing in the morning with your toast and Nutella, yeah, go for that. <laughs> I think we, this one here was more bitter than this one, and this is a bit more smoother, sweeter. Yeah, really nice. So, what we're looking at is alternatives to Guinness. So, between the t these two, um, would you have this instead of Guinness? That's the question. I would probably say if you do like the dark stuff, the black stuff, um, why not try local craft beers? I mean, this is Leeds, and this, no, sorry, this one here is Kew Gardens in London, and this one's Leeds. 
and uh, locally, yes, you. I think you should try it instead of Guinness. I mean, uh, anywhere where you are, any local craft craft beers, just just try it. Why why stick to Guinness when you can try something new and different? So uh, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. We're going to be doing more. Um, uh, so please like and subscribe and uh, you'll see a bit more of me.